if a dot a is equal to 0 and a dot b is equal to 0 means dot product of uh, vector itself is 0 and dot product between two other two different vectors is 0 then what can be concluded about the vector b so let us consider vector a is not equals to vector b both are unequal vectors and it's given a dot a is equal to 0 given that dot product between the same vector is 0 so dot product is 0 a dot b is equal to 0 which implies that a vector is perpendicular to b vector or any one of the vectors is 0 or either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 so here a dot a is equal to 0 a is perpendicular to b or a can be equal to 0 so a cannot be perpendicular to the vector cannot be perpendicular to itself so the vector a must be equal to 0 and also given a dot b is equal to 0 so very clearly we can identify that the vector a is 0 and dot product is 0 means b can be any vector if 0 vector is there vector a is 0 vector and the dot product between the 0 vector and any vector means b vector can be can be any vector so that we satisfy the two conditions or let us write here take this an equation 1 and equation 2 from 1 and 2 a dot a minus a dot b which is equal to 0 subtracting the two equations so we can take separately a dot of a minus b is equal to 0 so the dot product is 0 which implies that either a vector is equal to 0 or we can say a minus b vector is equal to 0 so here a vector cannot be b vector so this is not correct since a vector is not equal to b vector both are different vectors we consider therefore vector a is equal to 0 so it can be considered as a 0 vector 0 vector therefore if a is 0 vector since a dot b is equal to 0 from 2 from 2 we can consider we can conclude that we can conclude that the vector b can b can be any vector if a is confirmed to zero vector then b can be any vector too it will satisfy the two equations one and two